the COFP program is a program that has equipped equips me a lot to go out to the world to go out to my to begin with my community and then to the world to help build peace and help uh, resolve conflict now this program has equipped me with leadership skills it has equipped me with different ways of healing trauma in places where conflict has already taken place it has equipped me with uh, knowledge in different, um, in vast backgrounds. It has equipped me with also knowledge of Islam in, in case the community where I'm working, it's a mixed community where we have Muslims and Christians. I will be able to work there and I'll be able to help these people to resolve conflict and really in the, uh, and be able to identify different indicators or warning signs of conflict and find a way of helping these people. This is what I have gained from this program. And I'm equipped in such a way that even when I go out after now and I'm asked to give a workshop on peace, I am very equipped and I'm ready to do that. I'm ready to help any group or any organization that is asking for my help. I have been a beneficiary of the Hilton Foundation Funding for Sisters. First, I attended the SLDI program in JOS. Secondly, I did the Hekima Sister Scholarship Program I just finished last week. And then thirdly, I am also opportune to be among the sisters who have been selected for this uh, COFP program. I've benefited from the Hilton Foundation for the third time. So I want to ask God to bless the Hilton Foundation for this enormous tax of funding and educating the sisters in Africa. I am actually a living testimony that the money you have been given for this uh, program is not in vain, it's not wasted. I have learned a lot of things and I'm using the skill to help in my apostolate, to help uh, the teachers and to help children. So your money is not in vain. I want to really sincerely thank you. The project I carried out in my community, there were over 100 women. My target was 100 women. and then. When the women that were invited, especially the widows, came, some of them, I was surprised that widows who were like over 70, 80 years old were able to come for the program. And they were very happy because one of the facilitators was actually speaking in the local dialect. And the widows were able to express themselves. And like after the program, they were able to say all the things they benefited from it and how happy they were. And how uh, other people are also interested. They also want to be part of this peace initiative program in the community. So I remain grateful. And from this fruit, I know that the little seed I was able to give them, this is raining season, they are going to plant it. And we are going to see where the fruit from the program is still going to keep, it's going to keep bearing more fruit because the fruit is not going to end now. It's something that is, um, it's something that is ongoing. And I am sure that uh, people will live to appreciate that program and even more things to come in the future. Thank you.